Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. My name is Mark Spencer. With me today is Steve Martin. Surprise, surprise. Yep. <laughs> more. It's nice to see you again, Steve. Good to see you too. So are you going to show us some more audio magic in Final Cut Pro 10 is what I heard. The theme is audio. The theme and, is audio. Right. Okay. And I actually showed this at NAB uh, to a group of Final Cut Pro um, editors. And, you know, they, the question came up, well, I want to be able to retime my audio. I want to be able to slow it down or speed it up because I need to get this piece of music to fit within this. It's exactly match. You've got a 30 second spot and the music is 32 seconds long. Exactly. And, you know, in Soundtrack Pro, I can keep referring to Soundtrack because it doesn't exist anymore. I have a little tear. <laughs> um, you have this great feature where, where you can actually drag out a selection and then time stretch. And then ti yeah, time stretch. Yeah. And you can actually time stretch in a Final Cut Pro 10. And that's really, oh, you can. in fact, um, that's what I think I'll call this episode, Time Stretching Audio in Final Cut Pro 10. What a great time title. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, so yeah, let's, let's look at it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Daydreaming here. So here I have some uh, audio and I'll, I'll play a little bit of this, just not the whole thing, but you can hear the tempo of it and uh, you can see where it ends way, way over here when she gets, when the lead character, main character gets to this, uh, this man sitting at a table. So I'll play a little bit of this. She's actually um, looking for a blind date in this restaurant, doesn't Hello. know who it is. Bob. Yes. See how the music continues on into the scene? Yes. It would be very nice if the music, which is represented by this clip here, um, was shorter. In other words, it actually ended around here before, just as she's approaching the table as opposed to ending. Before they talk, because right now exactly. the ending tones of the, of the song are right when they're talking. Exactly. Now, this should be a quick tip. Um, all I'm going to do is select the audio, the music clip, curtain call. I'm going to hit um, Command R, press Command R, and I'm going to bring up the retiming editor. Could you zoom in a little bit just yeah. so we can Yes, see the okay. retiming editor. Okay. Yeah, I just hit Command, Command R. R. Uh -huh. And the point is, um, I'm going to, I, let's say I want to end, end the song about right here. I notice they had place markers here before a mark said, I would really want the song to end there. So mm -hmm. it kind of gives me a visual. The point is, all you need to do is grab this little, little grab thingy here. That's my technical term. The grab for it. thingy. The grab yeah. thingy. And when you drag on this, you'll notice that you're actually changing the speed of the audio, you can see it changing. Any value above 100% will be sped up. Any value below 100% will be slowed down as represented and by it, the colors. And it changes color too. Changes I colors. Noticed green was 100% and and slower is uh, orange and faster, faster is, is blue. blue. So I really maybe wanted to end right here like, at that marker there. Okay. And let's see about right there. Now here's the beauty of doing this. If you look under retiming, by default, preserve pitch is already checked. So we'll get the, the change of speed, but it's not going to change the pitch of the so song. So it's not going to turn into Alvin and Chipmunks. No, it's not going to be Alvin and Chipmunks. Chipmunk. So let's just play a little bit of this back, and you'll hear it's the same central uh, tone and pitch, but it's been sped up a bit. Hello, Bob. Perfect. And now it is just, just yeah. where you want to. There's a little bit of just piano nope. right at yeah, the end. Yeah, it's just, it's just awesome. And you, you sped it up to 113%. percent Now, you don't want to go crazy right. with this. But that's actually quite a bit. 113 yeah. percent I mean to, to speed something up and it still sounds very good it's just a little faster no change to the pitch at all no but you wouldn't want to like cut it in half or something no I, you, you get a, you want to use everything in moderation if yeah. you go too far it's gonna it's gonna add like probably distortion yeah a no bit. it just adds these little transients and it's not gonna sound smooth sometimes yeah. you get a little clicky it's uh, it's not right now what what I find it really useful for I mean music's one thing but you can also do a voiceover you know you want to get voiceover to be retimed to fit a specific yeah. Uh, duration like here I have this voice for I'll just play this voice over for you can just hear it the San Francisco City Ballet presents Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet okay so the thing is it's not right I really want to stretch it out to, to here notice there's a fade out right here I want to make it a little bit faster so the voiceover is a little short yeah so it's a little short so what I'm gonna do is select it command R and I'm gonna go ahead in this in this case I'm gonna just uh, you can go either way. So in this case, I'm going to just stretch it out, just to make it a little bit longer, okay? Let's see. The San Francisco City Ballet presents Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet. 
Same exact pitch, just slow just down. Just slow down. down. Let's go the other uh -huh. way. Let's just go the other way just to see how it sounds. And just, you don't, again, you don't want to go too far. Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet. Do it from the beginning. The San Francisco City Ballet presents Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, it sounds the exact same voice, just, just a little faster. faster. <laughs> so, so again, if you're if you needed to just fill a little spot and you don't, yeah. you know, just to stretch it out or contract it, um, the re the retiming is amazing. And with a voice like this, where he's pausing, you could technically blade it and move pieces around. You could to keep it, but it, this is a very this is much faster. Just to go ahead and stretch it to perfectly match. Right. That's just another nice option in your toolbox. Nice. Awesome, Steve. Thank you. Um, I believe you have a tutorial at Ripple Training that's dedicated to audio in Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah, Final Cut Pro 10 audio editing, and we just released it a couple weeks ago. It covers compressors, noise gates, EQs, all the stuff that you need to know to make your audio sound really good. Fantastic, which is incredibly important. A lot of video gets released with the raw audio just the way it is, and spending a little bit of time sweetening the audio can make a huge difference in the professional oh, uh, feel it. of your product. Yeah, in fact, uh, Damien even says there, it's like you can tell an independent film not by its visuals, but by the quality of the audio the right audio, away. Yeah, exactly. and that Damien Allen is the, is the, the author, author of the tutorial. Exactly. Okay, great. Steve, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.